If you've ever suffered from a migraine or have loved ones who have, you know how debilitating they can be. Treatment differs from patient to patient, and they don't always work. But tonight, new specialist Ashley Moser shows us an option gaining popularity some are calling a migraine miracle. That's impressive. A day in the Carter household. What did you spill on the ground here? Can be hectic. As a mother of four young kids, <laughs> Sammy Carter says... It gets a little chaotic sometimes. There is always something going on. Other moms must be dealing with this too. They must live their life like this every day. But not them? all moms deal with debilitating awesome. migraines. Carter's been awesome. suffering from them for seven years. Pounding, pounding pain, like there, like it doesn't leave. Her story isn't unusual. Dr. Lucia Altamirano says she's seen hundreds of patients with similar symptoms. A very intense pain that may be even uh, may disable the person. And treatment options seem endless. It's not just one or two or five or six. There are many things. I am one of the unfortunate ones that get like daily migraines. There are dozens of options at the pharmacy. Medications Lorna Roberts knows well when none worked for her. We've tried physical therapy, we've tried massages. For the last 23 years, Roberts has let her pain run her life, impacting work and play. A lot of times I'm just like, I don't feel good enough to go out with friends, I don't feel good enough to go out and do things. Desperate for relief, she tried something unconventional, going under the piercing needle to get this. So most people don't notice. A doth, sometimes known as daith piercing, a place on the ear commonly known as a pressure point. Okay, I'm gonna clean your ear. I'm gonna do a couple of different skin Piercer here. Patrick Bogdanich say says the type of piercing isn't we, new. I would say it's been about two years. But lately, and its we, popularity. In this particular studio, we've gone from doing about half a dozen or so doths per year to at least that many a day. He's had clients from eight years old to 85 years old get them done as a last ditch effort to get rid of their migraines. Today, it's Rachel Torzillo's turn. Nothing's really done anything for me. She suffers debilitating pain once a week. I have three kids. I don't have time for migraines. I don't, and I don't have the patience. It'd be awesome if I could get none. <laughs> she hopes to be one of Bogdanich's success stories. That looks pretty cool. People are texting me and emailing me quite literally night and day talking about how they are experiencing more relief post-piercing. It worked for Lorna Roberts. And the minute he did it, I was like, my headache's gone. Do the other ear. Some people are choosing <laughs> Success levels, in her case, simply, but uh, online comments show it hasn't worked for everyone. So what's the science behind it? Dr. Altamirano says it's too early to tell. A, a serious study will give us more information. But as of this point, it's not really scientifically proven that it causes uh, improvement. Yes. <laughs> Even without that data, mom Sammy Carter took a chance, and when she got hers... Like, all of a sudden, the pressure was gone. And it was immediate, right when he did the piercing. She says she's been migraine-free ever since, <laughs> giving up the pain to gain a better life with her family. They notice that I'm a different person. Hello. You want this dinosaur movie on? It's just been so much better for us. Bye. Uh while some say their migraines disappeared, others say it only decreased symptoms or didn't work at all. If you're thinking about trying it, Dr. Altamirano stresses you should go to a professional so you don't risk a serious infection or worse. And guys, even though there have been no clinical trials, she says if it helps others, why not? It's something out there. People are always looking for something to cure yeah. their migraines. Yeah. Worth um, a shot. Yeah, those women noticed right away. They sure Interesting. did. Interesting. Thanks, Thanks, Ashley.